Hello, brothers and sisters of light, and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is by Common Sense. I try to get it down to the nitty gritty. I try to keep it under 10 minutes. Some people keep asking me to make it over 10 minutes because they obviously love my comical relief, okay, or something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe I am funny. I don't know. But I'm just saying that if you have any comments, suggestions, or insults, you put it down below, okay? And then I'm like, I thought everything needs to be narrowed down to only 10 minutes. Maybe some people like to hear my voice. I don't know. But of course, if you have any insults, comments, suggestions, you put it down below. Anyway, I can't go to sleep, so I'm going to make another video. Uh, this video is going to be about... Uh, this is the, Oh, this one is an important one. Um, this one is going to be about Afrocentric fo folks and the Moors. Okay. Remember I was telling you about in the past about how um, the Afrocentric people... You know, African people, you can even say Zulu people, sold their own people off. Remember I was telling you about that? I'll put it down in the description box where you can look at a brief history, okay, from a man who's well knowledgeable. More knowledgeable than Tyreek Nasheed? I didn't think that was possible. But I knew that Tyreek Nasheed's videos was not pretty on core, okay? Me, I'm more of a Zachary Sension fan. I don't really look into the race issue or like that. I believe that there were other races before the Caucasoid who had this whole planet under wraps. And then it, it brayed off because there's different races and different spatial aliens that come down and they crossbreed us. I'm on the far extreme, okay, the far extreme left, you want to call it, the dark side. I'm not really caring too much of which race controlled the whole planet at one time because all the races, I believe, controlled the planet at one time or not, okay. You know, Africans say they are the controllers of the planet and they was all across the world because they have statues laying all around. But it really doesn't matter because now the Caucasoids have controlled 70% of the, the world's population. Okay, so now we're going to get down to Afrocentric. Afrocentricness people can go in two ways. Even they're Afrocentric, meaning that we fight the power. We're trying to defend the rights like Martin Luther King. Okay, or Malcolm X. Okay, but he's a little bit more on the stream right. Okay, and Malcolm X was more extreme on the aggressive side. Um, Martin Luther King was on the passive side, okay? And Martin Luther King learned from uh, Mahatma Gandhi, okay? You know what I'm saying? And so Mahatma Gandhi was 10 times more intelligent than uh, Martin Luther King. But of course, he took the idea from Mahatma Gandhi, basically saying, if the people don't, don't move, there's no business, okay? So you must sacrifice yourself in a sense of way, okay? With, with no arms, okay? So the thing is, is that when it comes down to Afrocentric, there's a good side and a bad side. Now, those people who are Afrocentric, they tend to vote for everyone. They used to try to fight for civil rights and stuff like that. We're Afrocentric for black power, you know what I'm saying? But that can lead to positivity. It can also lead to negativity, like hoses and dogs and stuff like that, and, and even hangings and whippings and lynchings, okay? But there's a negative side to Afrocentric, okay? The negative side of Afrocentricness is basically Black Panther parties, the dark side of the Black Panther Party, those people who basically are black racist, okay? And they, they believe that all white folks, just because, not not Oriental or any other uh, spit off race, but more of the Caucasoid race. There are more races directly towards them. And I guess, like I said before, <clears throat> you know, white people are the worst type of racist because they have a God complex. And they believe that if you don't look like them at all, they don't care what race you are, you're a lower slave, okay? You're a Negroid, okay? That's how it was back in the days, okay? I should make me a documentary. I should make me a documentary on all this stuff, you know? I just do my research and make me a documentary. I just know a lot of things that, you know, Tyreek she says in his hidden videos, I'm not going to agree with, but, of course, I did my research. But I'll put down a description box of the, the Moors, okay? I, as I told you before, the, uh, the African race... Uh, or the Moors, you want to call it, since they say they so they control almost everything, are they was they were slaves to the white man, okay, okay, and then you got Afrocentric people who believe that all crackers should die, okay, which is definitely wrong, okay, but even white folks, okay, even white folks were called Negroid at one time when they tried to stand up for Negroes and they were dubbed as Negroes and so they got afraid, okay, you know that shit. I don't know when it happened. I think it happened in the 1940s or 1930s or something like that when the, a lot of whites started standing up for African Americans, African Americans, and then they were dubbed as Negroes, okay? And they were being shot down. Those Caucasoids were being shot down. So now what you gonna think? You still Afrocentric now when you got white folks trying to fight for Africans? That doesn't even make any sense. See, I, I've met a lot of 
females who consider themselves Afrocentric. They think of white power all the time, but they don't understand they don't have a lot of logic. You can't say all white folks are the devil. You can't say that, okay? I have white friends, okay? I don't think they're the devil, okay? You know, don't don't get me wrong. Racism still do exist, okay? Today, but you have to understand you can't you can't put a label on someone just because of the color of their skin. That's completely wrong. Completely wrong. Now, what else I gotta say about that, okay? Uh, most of the time, when you you're talking to an Afrocentric folk, they're not really highly knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. They're not very educated, okay? I've seen this video on YouTube where these Afrocentric negative folks, the Black Panther Party slash aggressors, aggressors, who believe that all crackers should die. Okay, that's the most stupidest idea I've ever heard in my life. Okay, why would you say some shit like that? You'll be destroyed where you stand. Okay, you making blacks look like that's a bad image for blacks. It's a black taste in your mouth for blacks. Okay, you supposed to be intelligent. You supposed to be more intelligent. You know all. Black folks, Negroes, niggers are not the same. You should, you surely should know that all white people are not the same. Okay, why would you just stand on the corner and say all crackers must die? That is the most hateful thing. Just like the Ku Klux Klan. Okay, they learned their lesson. They got destroyed by the Union. Okay, you know the Confederate and the Union. Remember that? <clears throat> you know, Republican Tea Party was like, yeah, we can, we can profit over money. We can profit everything with money. Everybody can be a slave to us because we have most of the money, right? But why would you say that? Why would you be a black person who's supposed to be educating themselves from slavery, not trying to remember the past, and you're saying kill, kill, kill all crackers when you're watching their TVs and shit, you're watching their video games? That doesn't even make no goddamn sense, okay? You're driving their cars where your where you're, uh, aboriginal moors have never created anything, when your aboriginal moors have been using technologies from the white man. That doesn't even make sense to me, okay? But you know what? I digress, okay? Um, 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 these, these individuals are more negative Afrocentric individuals. And you, you gotta stand clear, okay? I, I do respect Louis Master Farrakhan, the Nation of Islam, N-O-I, okay? But of course, uh, you have to understand that if he ever rises his head up, okay, it will be chopped off, okay? There ain't no such thing as a black and white war. That's not gonna happen, okay? And even Louis Master Farrakhan said he got on a spaceship, Right? So you gotta wait till the aliens come down. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no direct war with blacks or whites. That's not gonna happen, okay? What did I tell you? I told you about this in the past. There ain't no Negro movement. There's no Negro. There's such thing as a Negro movement. It's only what us allotted to. The, it's only what's allotted to them by the the, the oligarchy, the Zionists, okay? You, you could call them Jews. You could call them white supremacists. You could call them Caucasoids. You could call them Europeans. You could call them um, Britain. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's only what's given to them, okay? It will never be uh, flourishing upon this whole planet ever again. That's gone, okay? Unless the alien gods come down and change that somehow. That's not going to happen. There ain't no such thing as blacks trying to get more intellectually superior than whites. That's not going to happen. And I don't give a fuck what you say about a moor, okay? What the fuck is a moor? I used to say, what the fuck is a moor? I've seen a couple moors in court, and they say they have jurisdiction over the, the law system or some shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? You fucking slave monkey. Okay, do you really think do you really think they're gonna let you go while you're in their court of law and you're a moor? Okay. <laughs> oh, I still got a cold. Anyway, this will be my last video. I have to get some sleep. But that's what I wanted to say about Afrocentric people and the Moors, okay? I'll put it down in the description box what the video is about. And I'm telling you right now, never go on things that you know. That may be kind of wrong. You just do more research. You get all your information for free. You don't have to pay for Tyreek Nasheed's videos to get all the information, okay? Because I didn't pay for it. I just looked somewhere else. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really past that point. I'm past racism. I'm thinking about alien gods and shit. I'm thinking about deities that once existed. I'm not even thinking about what races are more superior than others. That's just fucked up to think like that. Why would you just talk, think about one race is more superior than another when they all have attributes that are good, okay? Over the other, okay? No race is more superior in every category and every trait. Do you understand that? Peace and love to your brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome to my page. Understand that logic. There are other deities amongst us. Not just the human race. Get that through your fucking little heads, people. Peace.